you might not get what you want. And there's, there's a whole lot of, in chess, I want to win. Um, I've never met anybody that decided to play the game of chess that was going, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go for last. I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do to just lose this game. And we approach life the same way in this idea of win or lose instead of experience. And we had taught in life that anything that's moving forward is moving forward towards a win. And then we get into sports and we get into this, we get into that, and then we get into arguments and and we got to win the argument. And if we don't win, we lose. And if we lose, that's bad. And we've created this false dichotomy of good and bad that don't really exist other than bad is I don't like it. And so bad is I just don't like it. That's bad. And good is I like it. And so it's good. And we get rid of the idea of, is it serving its purpose? Which is really, if you think about what good is, it's serving its purpose. And funny enough, the emotions that everybody calls negative, disappointment, uh, inferiority, uh, powerlessness, those serve a purpose. They're good, but we don't like them. So we call them bad and then we avoid the hell out of them. And uh, we call them negative. (laughs) It's negative. You know, you ne- oh, you're having negative emotions right now. No, you're having emotions. And we're so frightened. Oh, negative emotion. We're so frightened. That's actually a positive emotion because if you weren't frightened when you're standing off a cliff, you'd fall off of it and it'd be totally okay. Or you'd be in front of a wolf or something and bite your hand off and it'd be totally okay because we'll be frightened. Um, st- stupid. But the reality is, is these emotions, no matter which emotion they are, they are useful and they are good for us to be able to experience they're not negative 